to my channel it is Callie dreams and I told you guys that whenever I find something that I really like that I will show it to you guys and document it so I was scrolling through Ulta you know doing my thing because they got a lot of stuff and I found this gloss called cause sometimes I just randomly pick up something like let me try this out so I got this lip gloss called um, this is milky gloss and it's by the company NYX and the color that I tried was this pink one. It's called, what is it called? Milk It Pink. But I decided to pick up the other colors, just other colors that I feel like will look good on brown skin. So I wanted to try this on. It's called Milk It Pink. And I love a nice pinky, poppy, girly color. These are the colors that I'm going to show you guys. They had a darker brown they had a blue and a purple, but I didn't want to try the blue and the purple one. I just felt like I wanted something that had more of a natural color, but not off a little bit, you know? Like I just felt like blue and purple was just not what I wanted to try for brown skin, but the pink is definitely a nice color for someone who is more on the lighter to mid brown color. And then these colors will look good on brown to rich, deeper skin tones. I didn't get the darker one. There was like one that was like, brown brown but I'll try to do that in another haul so let me try this one on okay so I absolutely love this color it brings like a little pop of color to it I love pink lips but it's not over the edge and sometimes when you have brown skin and you wear a pink lipstick it can especially this type of color it can make your lips look white or ashy but I love the consistency of this lip gloss. I love the color and it just gives me that girly look that I look for. They also have another lip gloss called Butter Gloss, but I feel like this gloss is a little bit thicker and richer and it stays on. I like the way it feels. Really, really pretty. Okay, so which ones should I try next? I think because I did the pink, I'm gonna try this one right here. It's called Milk and Honey, H-U-N-N-Y. Okay. So this has more of a nude color, like, like a creamy nude color. So like if I didn't want to wear the pink and I want to have more of a neutral color, I probably would try this. What do you guys think? It's still nice. Still glossy. It feels the same as the pink one and yeah if i didn't want to have that like pinky color to it then i would try this milk and honey i think it's what no honey milk and honey yeah milk and honey this is what it looks like right here i don't know why i thought that milk and honey would look different i thought it was gonna have like more of a nudie nudie color to it but it was kind of clear um but, you know, I love the moisture in it and I would use that if I'm not trying to have that pinky look. So the next color I think I'm going to try is Cherry Skimmed. Cherry Skimmed. I'm kind of interested on how this would look on my skin complexion. I've never tried this before. Okay. This looks like it's a little bit more pigmented than the other colors. Woo! Okay. So this has more like a fuchsia clear pink to it. Um, it's not as bubbly pink as the other one. This has more of a fuchsia pink on my skin complexion. It's okay. That's not my favorite. I don't really like this type of color on my skin, but you guys might like it. Maybe it's not fuchsia pink. I don't know. It's giving off a pinky, pinkier pink than this one. So this is the cherry skimmed and this is the milk it pink um i particularly don't like it on me it's not my style this pink right here but i know it will look good on you guys for real like when i in person it looks like it has a little more fuchsia look to it but on camera it's more like pinky pink but i could be tripping it might be the lighting i'm not sure it's okay Okay, so this is more of a peachy color and it's called Moody Peach. And I don't know, yeah, it does look peachy. So like compared to this pink, it has like more of a peachy color. And then here are the other colors right here. So I am trying on the Moody Peach. I haven't opened this before either. Let's see how this looks. It 
looks cute. It reminds me more of the this color, but uh, more peachy, you know? Um, it's so strange how your skin complexion can give off different looks. And I'm not sure of my hair because I added a little bit of color in my hair, like a bronze red, if that's giving off a different color. But I, I like it. I love it. For my skin complexion, I would say my favorite is the Milk It Pink and the Moody Peach. I love these two colors because it's not too much color, but it has a hint of it, you know, and I love the moisture. These ones were my least favorite because this one looked a little bit too clear for me. And this one had too much, I don't know, it just had too much pigment for me. So I feel like maybe if you had a more deeper skin complexion, these two colors plus the darker color that I did not show you guys will work well with you. Um, I feel like any skin complexion you can make work. I think that, you know, we are all beautiful and we can make whatever works. It's just whatever feels comfortable to you. That's basically my opinion. But good job, NYX. I love this and I'm glad that I tried it out and you can get it at Ulta. What I did was for the remaining ones, I just ordered online and I picked it up. When I was reading up on these glosses, it says it's infused with like vegan milk and that it's PETA friendly. Um, I'm from Hampton, Virginia. They have like a PETA corporation in Norfolk, Virginia. So I know all about that. Um, so if you're like a vegan and you, for the cause, you know, is infused with vegan milk, not milky milk, you know, from a cow. So um, it says it has 12 hours of hydration. And when I tell you, I be leaving my lips hydrated and popping. Period. <laughs> um, I'm very picky about my makeup and what I put on my skin, so look at me. Um, yeah. So anyway, you guys, I think that you should try this out. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what your favorite gloss is, and I will see you guys later. Bye bye. <laughs>